Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper, and we've got something unique today. Uh, I've been wanting to introduce you to the team that is behind all the videos that I've been putting up on YouTube. And so today, I have here Steve Arnold, who does the sound for all of our videos. And Steve is also going to serve as the voice for all of y'all who have been sending me and, you know, request for information about my life or or whatever so he is going to be your spokesman today using your comments to ask questions about my story so what do you want to know steve well one of the questions that you all have been asking and one that anyone who encounters jackie wants to know is um how'd you get involved with entertainment you know <laughs> stumbled into it uh, it's just that I've always loved movies. I have loved movies all my life. I mean, somebody told me the other day, I said something about, you know, I watched four movies last week, and they said, that is eight hours out of your life. Yeah, but it's eight hours of doing something that I love. You know, I, from the youngest age, I was going to the movies, and then when I got into college and law school and all, uh, I started thinking about writing about movies. I didn't, I wasn't real active about it, but it was in my mind, you know, I think, you know, there ought to be some way that I can tell people what I think about these movies because I love them so much and I had definite opinions. You know, some people have asked me later on, you know, why are you a critic? What makes you a critic? Well, I have an opinion. You're a critic. You've got an opinion. You're a critic. You've got an opinion. So, so how did you get your opinion out there, though? Well, it started, uh, I was working for... Uh, the Air Force. I graduated from law school. I was working as an attorney, you know, JAG, for the Air Force. And I was at Robbins Air Force Base, sitting in my office. Sorry to say, I had a little bit of time on my hands. Not that I didn't work hard every day. <laughs> but I had some time on my hands. And the base newspaper, the Robin Rev Up, was sitting on my desk. And I looked, and they had a list of the movies that were coming out to the base theater. And I thought, I've seen all those movies because the base theater got the movies like a week or two weeks later than in the town theater. And I did. I thought, I've seen those movies. And so I <laughs> had a few minutes. So I sat down and wrote a little review of each of the movies coming there. And I just sent it over to the Robbins Rev Up. And the next week, there were <laughs> my reviews of the movies. And they called me up and said, you know, do you want to do this every week? And I said, sure. So you just put it out there. Just put it out there. And, and they created a spot and, for you. And they said, we like it. Wow. But, you know, but that was, you know, that was just a, a I, it was very brief and, and I didn't do much. But then, having had that little taste of success, didn't get paid, but a little taste of success, I uh, submitted a story that I, I had in my mind to my newspaper in my hometown and again submitted it without any invitation to but the next week in the local newspaper there was my story and I thought gee that looks nice you know by Jackie K. Cooper and so uh, I called the editor and I said you ran my story and he said yeah he said it was good he said why don't you write a column for us this is absolutely wow. the truth and I, I said, what about? And he said, anything you want. I mean, can you imagine being told sure. you can write a column about anything you want? And so I said, well, what do you need? And he said, whatever you want to write. And I said, well, I don't know. I, mean, I was just at a loss. I thought, well, he, certainly he has some idea. And he said, what do you like? And I said, the movies. And he said, then write about the movies. And so I started a column called That's Entertainment, and it came out every week, and that led to me being in other newspapers, and then some TV stations in the local area called up and said, would you come on and talk about movies on our station, and it just... <laughs> and so when did all that begin, Jackie? Oh, I was young. <laughs> that was back in the 70s. In the 1970s. Oh, yes. I've got, what, how long, 40 years ago? Wow. Yeah, well, you weren't even born. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that I was, 
but, but yeah, that was the genesis of it. That's amazing. I will say that um, your name is familiar to me. To people of a certain age. Sure. Uh, so you want to explain that? Well, yeah. There was an actor. He's deceased now, but there was an actor who was a child star. And his name was Jackie Cooper. And he got, got a start on his career by appearing in a series of movies called The Little Rascals. And The Little Rascals was also known as Our Gang. I don't right. know how they inter, interplayed the titles, but both titles applied to these, to these series of films. And now, you know, I'm just going to interject this, but with all of this YouTube stuff that's happened, and the 150,000 subscribers that we have, I think of them as my gang. I think of that as being our gang. So the Jackie K, the Jackie Cooper thing does come into play. But as I got to, to writing, people, you know, I don't know why they would think that the actor Jackie Cooper was, was living in Georgia, but people would say, are you the actor? And I said, no, I'm not the actor. And, and they, they couldn't, wrap their mind around it, why I would have that name, and I and that was the actor, I, that, I don't know, but they got confused. So I decided that I would always use Jackie K. Cooper, which is Jackie Kershaw Cooper, which is my mother's maiden name, and so Jackie K. Cooper it became. But I want to tell you a funny story, Steve. When I lived in California, Jackie Cooper was still alive, and I would get phone calls from People who would say, oh, we want you to appear on our program. We want you to do this. You know. And I would say, are you sure you have the right Jackie Cooper? And they say, oh, yes, yes, we hunted you down. We found you. Uh, we, we know it's you. And then they'd start talking about your, your dearest friends, uh, you know, Milton Berle. And I don't know, they name over comedians, uh, you know, but he... I can't had they hack it, you know, it was during that time. But they would name, and I would say, no, 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 you have got the wrong Jackie Cooper. And they said, come on, come on now, we, we found you, we tracked you down. Are you sure you never took... Uh, I never <laughs> did, I never did. But while I was in California, and it's, some of y'all don't know this, but I was on a quiz show. Uh, I was on a quiz show called The Joker is Wild. Uh, I have to tell that whole story of how I got on it, but I was on for a week, and it had a really good run. And but when it ended, uh, after it ended, I moved back to Georgia. And as soon as I got back to Georgia, I got a call saying they wanted me to appear on Tic Tac Dope. Right. And so I flew back out to California and did the Tic Tac Dope show. Didn't do so good on it. And then came back to Georgia, and then they called me, and they wanted me to do the Hollywood Pyramid, because that had a celebrity and a non-celebrity, and they were trying to get Jackie Cooper, the celebrity, to appear with Jackie K. Cooper, the non-celebrity. But that never worked out, but it was a plan. What a fun story. What a fun story. Yeah. And he was a great guy, and, and you know, I, I never met him, but I read a lot of, of stories about him, and um, he wrote his... Uh, autobiography and the title of the book was called Please Don't Shoot My Dog. Is that not a strange title? <laughs> did you read it? I read it. What did what was the significance it there? Was, it was really significant. You know, this was when he was a child star. If they wanted him to cry in a scene, they would tell him they were going to shoot oh, his dog. Oh my goodness. And his autobiography was Please don't shoot my dog. That would never fly today. Well, not today, <laughs> but that was that's a true story. I mean, wow. he, he wrote it. But I, I wrote, I reviewed the book for the Atlanta Journal of all places. I, you know, I don't know why, but out of the blue, I thought, I'm going to review this book for the Atlanta Journal. I sent it to him, and I guess they liked the fact that Jackie K. Cooper was reviewing Jackie Cooper's autobiography. So it was one of my few times to be in the sure. Atlanta Journal. Well, that, that you mentioned uh, Jackie Cooper's book is a pretty good segue because many of you want to know about these books that uh, sit behind Jackie I wrote every, every week. one of them. That's impressive. <laughs> so you, do, you, do you review these books is the question. I do review books. And, I, and I'm thinking about doing that uh, on the YouTube channel because I love books so much and I know so many authors and, and I get 
tons of books every week and I review a book a week usually on my website and and I thought we might bring that forward to, to YouTube you know because there are a lot of avid readers out there and books in this day are universal they're translated into different you know languages and I remember Terry uh, gosh what is Terry's last name the, the southern author I just went blank on it I'm blank with you Terry Kay. Terry Kay. Terry Kay. yes <laughs> Thank you to our producer right there. Terry Kay told me one time, he said, Jackie, he's from Atlanta or Athens. He said, you just can't imagine how big I am in Japan. <laughs> and it's because his books have been translated sure. over there. Right. And, you know, and they're translated all around the world. So yeah. uh, I think, you know, our, our gang, part of our gang, you know, is universal and it goes around the world. So we're going to talk about books and the books will be, should be accessible to them. I think that'll be great. I'm I'm really a book lover myself. I know you are. So one more but question. You like to listen to books. I do like audiobooks because I can do other things at I the like same time. To read them. So here's one more question before we go. Okay. What are the plans going forward for the YouTube channel? Well, like I say, I do want to do some book reviews. I mean, yeah, book review sounds too formal. I do want to talk about books and expose. You know, I've I've got some great friends who are authors. Uh, we're going to hopefully, uh, I've talked to some of them and they're going to be coming close to our area and we're going to have them come on the show and maybe talk about their books. Uh, I think that would be interesting. Sure. Uh, I've got a, a, a friend, uh, my college roommate, son, makes movies. And so we're going to, I've talked to him and he's going to come on and talk about, he makes sci-fi movies. And so uh, we're going to bring him on and talk to him. I want to have some people, you know, come on because... I know how great this audience is. I know these guys, and they are great, and they, you know, they they may be nine years old or something, but they <laughs> they love they love uh, everything about entertainment and books and everything. But we're going to try to do a variety of things. We're going to talk about television. We're going to talk about videos. I I reviewed a movie this week from Netflix. We're going to talk about Amazon original movies. We're going to go into all areas and draw, you know, from the from the movies. Anything that's entertainment wise uh, or uh, in that broad genre is what we're going to do. And I'm just looking forward to it. I'm, you know, uh, life is good. Well, it sounds like we have a lot to look forward to. Well, Steve, I appreciate you coming in and speaking for our gang and asking the questions, and we'll have to do this again. Sure. Anytime. I'll be glad to do it. Now, make sure that you look down here and subscribe uh, to, to our, my YouTube channel. Also, if you want to get notification of whenever we put something up new, ring the bell. And if you want to contact me, everything, you know, email, uh, post office box, all that is in the description that is down there on the screen. So you can get in touch with me any way that you opt to do. But, you know, again, this has been part of my story. And I thank you again, Steve, Certainly. for doing it. It's been my it. pleasure. And this has been... Jackie K. Cooper.